Uh, this uh, accident that happened uh, while we were returning home from uh, our dinner out on uh, South Main Street. And as I was uh, going to close the door, of course, she moved a little bit slow getting in, and I thought she was in. And, of course, I started to shut the door, and her foot was caught there, and it got her big toe and the adjoining toe. And, of course, I don't know how serious it is so we have a doctor's examiner. And, uh, and of course, uh, she's bringing suit against me, which, of course, I don't like, but it uh, uh, was really my fault. So if, uh, if this comes up for a hearing, why, I'll be glad to uh, testify. Well, if it wasn't a bad case, and I wouldn't think much of my sister if she had my husband arrested. I would just like to say that if anything comes up against Otto A. Peterson, that I would love to testify for him. Because I do not like to see my father put behind bars. <laughs> and I wouldn't like to have my, my children have to go visit their grandfather behind bars. He is not a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, now, I'm, as defense attorney for Miss Blanche Carlson, uh, against my own father, I've got to see justice done. Uh, we've got to establish whether he was sober at the time. What, what, was, was, he, was he sober? Huh? No, he had a couple of drinks. All right. Uh, there, there's something. We'll have to give him a, 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 saliva, a saliva test. Now, tell me, tell me uh, again now, uh, were you alighting or going into the car? <laughs> going into the car. <laughs> this, 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 definitely was, this definitely wasn't suicide, was it? Well, he had just one, <laughs> one, he had just one too many drinks. <laughs> well, I think we could certainly got a good case here for, for manslaughter, first degree. <laughs> here we are at Palisades Park, and we have with us now the champion of this beauty contest for Miss uh, Sauerkraut of 1972, <laughs> Miss Becky Peterson from Gamestown, New York. Now, what, Becky, would you say a few words? Hello. Uh, were you thrilled about winning this contest? Mm, maybe. <laughs> Did you know that you were the best-looking girl there? No. You didn't? No. What makes you so beautiful? I don't know, because I look like me. <laughs> That's the <laughs> point. Like your daddy, huh? <laughs> now, what, can you give us your, your, your vital statistics here? In other words, your measurements? What, 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 what are they? What's, uh, what's your, how? How I weigh? What, what's your measurement? Uh, about 60 around the waist. 60 around the waist? Yeah. <laughs> and your bust size would be what? I weigh 70. You know. <laughs> your, your, your hips are how big? Uh, about one inch. About one inch. <laughs> All right. As moderator of this panel, uh, we've got uh, two women against two men here tonight. And for the side of the Brooklyn uh, village, uh, we're going to start off with the uh, debutante. Uh, and well-known socialite of Brooklyn, uh, Miss Blanche Carlson. Well, Brooklyn is the best little town in this side of, uh, of Jamestown. <laughs> and my brother-in-law is from Ludlow. <laughs> that little thinking town. <laughs> well, I don't know what kind of argument we got there, but we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a rebuttal later anyway. And now we're going to go to... Uh, a relative of the former king of Ludlow, uh, Otto A. Uh, that's Albert Peterson. <laughs> Both these towns, you know, had canneries. <laughs> and one smelled worse than the other, but I think that Brookston was worse because down there, they swept the hair off the hides where we put it off with lime. And that makes a big, big difference in the atmosphere. And, uh, I, I'll still say that Ludlow was way out ahead of uh, Brookston. And we had an odd fellows hall there. And every Saturday night we had a smorgasbord. And we really had some real fine, fine times there. The, the best that I, I'll always remember. 
They were the most enjoyable Saturday nights that I ever spent. And uh, now I'll turn it over to another Brooks and... Uh, wait, just a minute now. Uh, i got to turn you back now to the moderator here on this uh, panel. Now, before we get back to this exciting discussion that we're having here, we've got to have a word from our sponsor, uh, Lily Pinkham's uh, <laughs> Pink Pills for Pale People. Uh, just a moment now, we'll have a testimony of our of, of this Wait product. Just a moment. Well, I'd just like to say that Lily Pink Pills for Pale People has done wonders for me. I used to be so pink before, and now I am pale. So therefore, folks, buy media pink pills for pale people. And now back here in the studio, we're, we're going to uh, go back to the discussion we were having um, prior to uh, the commercial. And we're going to the second female uh, representative on the Brookson panel, uh, a sister of the uh, debutante that we announced first. Uh, the, the lady that inspired one of the leading citizens of the, of the United States. You all know him as Lyle Peterson, and now we go to Miss, Mrs. Rachel Peterson. So what Mr. Peterson said about Brookston isn't so. It was just a little heaven down there. Everybody was good, no bad places to go to. We always looked at Ludlow as if that was a very bad place, where they danced in, I will say, where Mr. Peterson had so many girlfriends that they told him he'd better get out of town. And he went, but he came back in the, just a little while, and he could see that Brookston was better than Ludlow. That is the third of the uh, the four people that we have here to, to talk, uh, two for Brookston, and now we're going to uh, uh, a youth that uh, has only visited Ludlow in later years and give us a modern approach on it. He's seen Brookston, uh, what there is to see of Brookston. Uh, Ludlow, on the other hand, he, he spent some time there. Uh, he's a young lad. Uh, we hope has a future, uh, an unknown quantity uh, right now, uh, Gregory uh, Lyle Peterson. Well, on behalf of the younger youths, post office of saloon and a little Brooks and didn't even have a hotel. We had from all four participants, and now we have to break away from our program for uh, a melody from um, a guest artist we have in the studio tonight uh, that uh, is actually indirectly related to both Brooks and Ludlow. It's Becky Darlene Peterson, who's going to play. I don't know what song she's going to play, but uh, we'll pick it up now as she's playing in the studio. This one, all right, here she goes. All you people enjoy that very much. Uh, now, our time has just about dropped off here. We maybe can have a closing remark from one of the participants who is closest to me here, we're just as we're about to sign off. Uh, I'd like to have a few words from, from Brian Carlson. Well, they run down Brookston, and I don't think it's fair. <laughs> at small, it was a small county place, and, and they called it a little paradise. We had two churches and a school and a post office, and, and, and we had a nice grocery store. And what more would you want of a little place like that? And there was no drugs like they had up in Ludlow. 